Chaos, the Chow Chin Chaos, Juice Beats Games here, and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. Yes, uh, it's amazing that I get to say that. Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. Yep. And I've been looking at this game, I've been playing a bit ahead on my Sun file, and this game is harder than the original. This game is harder than the original, so I'm going to have to step my game up, grind a bit more, I might need to be over leveled for a bit of it. This game is a bit more harder, and I like that. I am interested in a bit of a challenge, you know, after after gold, only I'll only have four deaths and uh, fire at Omega, despite the fact that, you know, it was a harder rum hack of Dreyanus. Um, I only had about eight or nine deaths, so I think it's eight actually. But, you know, still, that's kind of easy mode, really. Let's get back into the things like Blaze Black, Fault White 2, where we had like 33 deaths. Let's get into those ranges again, eh? Actually, let's not. Let's not get into those ranges again. Please, for the love of God, let me not have 30, uh, 32 deaths. Anyway, in today's episode, uh, we're going to pick my starter and we're going to continue on the adventures. In the last episode, I asked you guys to pick my starter between Rowlet, Lyndon, and, of course, Poplio. And we're going to see this cutscene again because... I'm just picking up my save file from the last uh, from the last save from the last time I say saved it. Young goose. And here come the reinforcements. Rowlet. Hidden. Poplio. Young goose. They saved my life. I find I am eternally grateful to these little poke these three little Pokemon. They saved my life. Hey there, cousin. Hang on, I know you. You're Amber, right? You okay? I saw you got attacked like that. Uh, yeah, I got a bit of help. Looks like you did. Though, I sure didn't expect that, yeah. I didn't think these little fellas would dash out and save a stranger. But I guess, uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola. Uh, the Pokemon Paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Kahui. I'm the Pokemon Professor. People and Pokemon live together and this, um, work together in here in Alola too. Don't forget that. You can go anywhere as long as you got Pokemon by your side. Wild Pokemon are lurking in the tall grass. Yeah, just waiting to leap out and bite you. But you'll be fine if you have a partner of your own. Hey there. Let me introduce you to the Pokemon that just helped you just now. This is the grass type Pokemon, Rowlet. It's an owl. This is the fire type Pokemon, Lin. It's a cat. And this is the water type Pokemon, Poplio. I'm guessing it's a sea lion. I'm not exactly sure if it's a sea lion or a seal, but I'm guessing it's a sea lion. I've, I couldn't figure it out from the original, so I'm pretty sure this is a sea lion now. Could be a seal, though. See, the fact of the matter is, one of these Pokemon is to be your first partner. Woo! Yeah. Maybe that's why it wanted to. Maybe that's why they wanted to save you to the show, show favor. You know. Go on, choose. I'd like you to choose your partner. All right. And in the last episode, I gave you guys the choice of my partner. Why don't you go ahead and choose? Alright, I will be choosing. And I will be choosing Lydon. Because that is the person that got the most votes. 
I know, uh, like, there were lots of people in the comment section saying, Joe, choose for variety. In your Pokemon Sun playthrough, you use Litten because you Litten's your favourite starter of Gen 7. Like, it's everyone else. It's everyone's favourite starter of Gen 7, it seems. So, you know, he's one cool cat. As uh, Kohui says, Litten may use fire-type moves, but he's one cool cat. Do you want to go with the fire type, Linen? Uh, yeah. I picked up a cat. You chose Linen. Okay, so what is this litter? Because in my son playthrough, I actually got a girl. Which is weird because it's very rare you can get a girl on the starters. It's like a 12.5% chance you get a girl on the starters. And then everything else is male. So this one's male. So that means it's a continuation of one person in. And that is, of course, Roderick. Roderick is back and by the way if you're on YouTube I'm gonna leave a card right now to my Pokemon Sun LP from last year I'm gonna do that so if you want to see that at any time I'll put a card in the set I'll put a card link in the playlist to every episode I also will leave it in the description for those Vidme people who can't do cards but, but it's on it's still on YouTube because when I did this, I did have a Vidme channel, I just wasn't uploading over there when I did Pokemon Sun and Moon. I didn't start uploading until about April over there, and then I didn't start uploading old YouTube content until probably about August. Because I had like Emerald I had the like Emerald 2 series, the Emerald 2 Nuzlocke. That uh, was Vidme exclusive. So, so you went with Lin. Woo! What a fine-looking team you two are. Now that you have your own Pokemon, you can have you can have Pokemon battles. You're what we call a Pokemon trainer. So it's Lin's Pokeball too. He can feel nice and cozy in there. This does not count as the start of the lock. He's only giving us Lin's Pokeball. If you gave us other Pokeballs that are not Lin's Pokeball, it would count as the start of the lock. This does not count. All right, then let's get on. Uh, let's get on going to Ike Town. Amber, woo! Time to meet the Island's Kahuna. But why? Truth is, that Lin partner of yours is a gift from the Kahuna, not me. So let's go and show it off. Off, and say. A proper thank you, cousin. It may not be... It may be a, only a gift. It may not be the only gift you get. In case you haven't heard, the Kahuna are crazy strong trainers. And I'm talking crazy strong here. Be careful about getting into a battle with that one. Alright. I will be careful getting into a battle with the crazy strong trainers that are Kahunas. Icky Town is just up here. Get Lin's that uh, Pokeball I gave you. But I don't want to go into the Pokeball Lin saying, You're going to Pokeball. You're not like Nebby who can't stay in his bag, you'll stay in my Pokeballs. Definitely a hell of a lot more colourful. That's why I'll tell you for free. This, this game is a hell of a lot more colourful, and I love that. I honestly do. So this listen has Scratch, Growl, and Ember. Oh wait, I'm Ember. It has me. 
Yes, you can use, you can whip your tail back and forth, and I can just hit you with some fire, and that's all I need to do. Shut up, phone. In fact, go away, phone. If it's going to be there, it's going to annoy me. So I might as well just throw it. I might as well just go and throw it over there by the sofa. By the way, uh, this series should be going up three days a week. I'm not decided on what days yet. Uh, this, I'm guessing maybe Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Yeah, that possibly sounds like a good idea. Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, with Wednesday and Saturday being Sims 4. And that means that I get Sundays and technically Tuesdays off, but I don't actually get Tuesdays off because Soul Link goes up on Nick's channel. And of course, also, you know, we got Insurgents on Monday, on Sunday. So technically, yeah, I don't really get a day off, but sometimes, you know, sometimes I do. It's best for the moment in time whilst I'm sorting out the move that's going on. Uh, once the move happens, I will bring in another series. I'm considering doing an I'm considering doing Emerald. I'm considering doing a, an Emerald series on the channel as well to go alongside this because this series might take some time with me uploading three times a week. So there you go. That's the plans for this series, and I might bring on an Emerald series too because I like Emerald. I mean, we haven't done third gen in a bit. I was thinking we haven't done third gen, we haven't done fifth gen in a bit. So it's an idea. Anyway. Oh, hey, hey, which Pokemon are you going to choose then? Um, have you decided? Oh yeah, I'm Hal. I couldn't wait uh, for us to pick up Pokemon, so I, I came to find you myself. Litten. Oh, your Litten is so cool. Hey, wait. You already picked your partner Pokemon! What the? Sorry about that, Hal. We had a little accident on our way here, and uh, I ended up letting Ember choose her partner early. Before you. Fair enough. I guess it was fate that you guys uh, met, otherwise Ember would probably have been dead. But you can choose from these two. Bowlet! Poplio! Then I will choose my partner Pokemon. Uh, I will choose Rowlet. Alola friend! Alola friend! I decided ages ago that you were the one I wanted to go on an adventure with. We're gonna do some awesome stuff together. Just you wait and see. Bowlet. Professor, you take good care of the Poplio, right? You know I will, Hal. All right, then Poplio, everyone, back into your Pokeballs for now. Wait up, uh, me and Rowlet have a favor to ask of you. Um, would you be our opponent in our first ever Pokemon battle? Uh, first off, you've just literally got this Pokemon. Like, you've had this Pokemon for under a minute at this point, and you're already asking me for a battle. I mean, technically, I've had my Pokemon for about five minutes, but still. But still. Yeah, sure. Oh, hold on. Before you two step into the ring, let's make sure that Lin is helped to it. Hey, we're not stepping into any ring here. You know, there's no ring. You know, this is not a wrestling match. I keep on hitting the sh I keep on hitting the cord for my uh, DS. Sorry about that. All right, I'm seriously going to enjoy this. You will challenge my Pokemon trainer, Howl. Go Rowlet. And as far as I can tell, from what I've seen of uh, of upcoming rival battles, chance little s minor spoilers, but um, 
This is the first and last time you see how use a Pokeball for his starter. He literally just, it's just like in the rival battles I've seen with him from like trailers and stuff like that, it's just, it's there. Like he just calls it out of the battle and it's there. Like it's like it's already there in the cutscene and he doesn't have to do anything to bring it out. He doesn't even have to throw a Pokeball. It's just, it's there. I mean, that's kind of cool. I'd love that for our starter, but like we have to throw a Pokeball because this is not Heart or Soul Silver where Pokemon walk behind us. Okay. I'm guessing you have a better niche. I'm guessing Roderick has a better niche in the listen that's on my uh, Sun LP. Not sure yet, I'm chat. But I will look at that before the end of this episode. Oh, I first defeat her. Sorry, Rowlet. Whoa, that was awesome, Ember. You and Litten are both so cool. You, uh, you've got to have battles where everyone has fun. That's you and your partner Pokemon and your opponent too. They're, and their partner Pokemon. You know, everyone's got to have fun in these battles. Right on, Ember and Hal. Oh, you and Hal put out the, uh, the best of your Pokemon. And you pulled off some spectacular moves. Yeah. AK Town is just up these stairs. Come on, Ember. You two should totally check out Icky Town. Okay, we're going to totally check out Icky Town. But before I do that, I know there's an item back here. And there's a canopy. I must kill that. Don't worry, I'm saving the world by killing one bug type at a time. Nobody needs these bug types. There's too many of these things. And they evolve so little that no, that everyone thinks they're strong when they're actually weak. And I get level 7, which is awesome. Because every level is important here in this series since we're doing a Nuzlocke. And this game is actually pretty hard. Oh, Paralyze Heal. Nice. Um, I might as well go through the special rules that I'm going to be going through. So, on top of the standard Nuzlocke rules that we're going to have here. Um, and these are minor spoilers again. Sort of spoilers again. But, like, if you've watched the trailers, it's not spoilers. And if you've played if you played Sun and Moon, it's also not spoilers. Some of this is not spoilers. So... On top of the fact that we've got to, uh, we can only catch one encounter for a route town area or cave. When it has to be the first thing we see, anything that fates inside our outside our battle is considered dead. And we also have to nickname all of our Pokemon. That's the first, that's the standard three rules of a Nuzlocke. I am also bringing in the set battle style. I am also bringing in uh, dupes and species claws. We, you know, by rights, we had to bring in shiny claws too, just in case we run into a shiny, but I don't think that's going to happen. But the following things are banned from me using them. Pokemon Refresh, banned. Cannot use Pokemon Refresh. Festival Plaza, banned. I mean, I'm glad about that one. Uh, Roto, Pow uh, Roto Boosts, banned. The only one I'm actually allowed to use is Roto EXP. Experience Share. Banned. Not allowed to use it at all unless I'm grinding. X Items. Banned. I mean, I wouldn't use them anyway, but still. Banned. And that is basically all the bans I'm... Yeah, that is all the bans, I think. So, yeah, I'm not allowed to use Pokemon Refresh. Because it's just too easy. If you, like, I can show you it in a basic tutorial, but the fact is, if you love your Pokemon, and if you get it up to, uh, if you uh, take care of it by rubbing, uh, by, uh, you know, petting it, and getting rid of status uh, afflictions from it, and uh, feeding it Poke Beans, like, you get, like, random crits, you get more experience, and your Pokemon live with one HP. It's just 
makes it too goddamn easy. I mean, yeah, sure, it's good, but like the game, it's like the game is hand, is like holding your hand. And I'm not okay with the game holding my hand. I don't want the game to hold my hand. We're here, right here, in Icky Town. This town is where folks come to worship that Pokemon that watches over Melee Melee Island. And top of Coco that keeps us all safe and happy, see? But it looks like the Kahuna is nowhere to be found. I guess he must have gone and uh, off to go and deal with some trouble. Yeah. Uh, the Kahuna wandered off without saying a word, just singing a little ditty of a tune. I'm going to stop by my home a second to show my mum my rallet. Hey, I got an idea for you, Amber. I've heard uh, if you head through the uh, village to the top of the hill, you can go and visit the ruins that belong to Tapu Koko. That's our guardian, that's our island guardian's deity. Yeah. When you go and introduce yourself. If you're really lucky, you might actually get a glimpse of the guardian deity is yourself. I'll stick around here and wait to see if the kahuna comes back. Okay. I guess that's exactly what we will do. But I... I really don't think we'll be able to get a glimpse of the Guardian Deity itself. Different people interact with Pokemon different way in different ways. Some may uh, see them as allies in battle, whilst others just enjoy spending their lives with them. And others are so we scared of them. It is said that ancient people rode over the waves and seas together with their Pokemon. To settle in the Alola region. Okay. Nice interesting, st nice interesting story there. I will talk to people because this is sort of an LP. Uh, this is sort of my LP of the series. You know, I know there are thousands and thousands of other YouTubers doing LPs of Ultra Sun and Moon right now. Uh, but, yeah. Ain't nobody going to let's play these games like the... Like the Lantern Nation. Ain't nobody going to let's play these games like the Lantern Nation. The Lantern Nation is... The Lantern Nation rules the roost. When it comes to Pokemon LPs. My Rockruff is the best buddy god ever. She always comes with me when I go shopping. And she lies outside my door when I sleep. Ah, isn't that nice? Rockruff was a wild Pokemon when we got her, but she's taken. She's now part of the family. When I see her roughhousing with my little girl, I can't help but smile. Aw, oh, that's so nice. Hello. I want to go and meet the Guardian Deity. Maybe I'll cause some mischief for my uh, for a Pokemon. Um, maybe you shouldn't do that. If you uh, tr if you treat Pokemon wrong, the Guardian Deity will strike you down with a bolt of lightning. But children always laugh at me when I say that. Well, it does sound a bit weird, and it does sound like you're lecturing them and de get um, dealing out an ample punishment. But the fact is, you know. It's probably true. Welcome to Icky Town, the town watched over by a Pokemon. Hey, what? You got a Pokemon? I want one. Where did you get yours? Uh, I waited until I'm old enough, and of course I asked the professor nicely. Also, I ran into a little bit of trouble with Young Goose. But then again, it's a Young Goose. I could have just kicked it. Peter, don't come after me. I'm fine. I'm not suggesting that I would kick a Pokemon. Just suggesting that I could have kicked the Pokemon in that situation. Opening a window lets the night come in, come creeping in. But if you leave a window open, it'll make you sleepy. 
Ah, lovely calm days like this one always make me think of my brother. When uh, we were young, we were, he worked so hard gathering sand from the beach. Where is he now? What, can he, what must he be doing? I don't know, but uh, it's interesting that you talk about your brother like that. Um, I guess we go up here now. Hello. Don't forget to save if you want to remember everything that's just happened. You, hmm? you must not forget to save. Now I remember everything that just happened, because I remember to save. If you don't remember to save, you'll forget everything that just happened. The Kahuna gives wise, gives wisdom and guidance, and teaches us how to live with Pokemon. Okay. Hello. Kahuna Hala is the strongest of all Pokemon trainers here on Mele Mele. There must be some tough trouble going down on the island that needs a Kahuna's touch, because he said something about. It's time for old Halla and Ben went off. Okay. I... You know what? Let's go and deal... Let's go to the uh, ruins before ending off today's episode. Here's the Manawa Cheryl. Going to pay your respects to the, guard, uh, to the guardian deity. He's... It's a fickle one, but I hope you get to meet it. Thank you. Meow. I think they would say like the crowd, the cries of a low and meow for normal meow are probably the same, even though it's a low and meow for normal meow. You know. I know, I know. I'll take you out the bag when, uh, when we get to the ruins. But please stay in the bag. We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. Yes, stay in the bag. Whatever's in Lily's bag. Oh wait, that's I'm not supposed to say it's Lily yet. Oh we come on, everyone's played Sun and Moon, we know that's Lily. <laughs> it's Nebby! Hello again! Hello again, old friend! Oh no! It's Ral. It's it's some Spiro. Spiro! 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 It's one of the only cries I can actually do, Spiro. I mean, I try and like do like little ones, but uh, other ones, but like Spiro is one I can actually do really well. Hello. Ah. Uh, um. What's wrong? Help. Save Nebby. Pew. Those Spiro are attacking it. But I'm not a Pokemon trainer. I can't. Please. Please say Nebby. I mean, I'll help your, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. So. Okay, I'll do it. Spin round. Now, unlike Sun and Moon, we actually get to fight. Well, we get to fight one of the Spiros. We get to fight one of the Spiros attacking Nebby. We get to fight one, only one. I was thinking it could be like all of them and they were all level one and it's sort of a horde battle, but no, it's just one. Just one Spearow. And again, two embers from Roderick should take it down. There we go. 
Actually, what nature is my... What nature is Roderick? Oh, I'll check in a minute. You managed to chase off of one of those Spiro, but there's so many more. Please, please help Nebby. But be careful. It looks like that last attack damaged the plank bridge too. Okay, so... What nature... Okay, so... Oh, you're naughty. So, you're physical. I have a physical... Uh, yep, yep, definitely physical. You are definitely a physical Pokemon. Okay, so I need to build you... I need to build... I'll need to build you that way. So, I probably should, like, do Scratch more than uh, Ember because Scratch would do more damage. But you do get some good physical fire-type moves in this game. So, you know against the game where you didn't get much in Sun and Moon. So, it should be okay. Because if... Naughty is plus attack minus special defense. Which is not so great. So we can't really take any hits on the special side. But we can do a lot of damage on the, fi on the physical side. Okay. I don't see why we have to cap uh, to save Nebby like this when we could actually just, you know, use our Pokemon. Now, Roderick would be good at that. Whoa! He literally just knocks them out. He's like, bye, Spiro. Okay. Okay. Pew! Oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. I know uh, what happened. You know what happened to you last time you tried to use your power. You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't be saying that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you're only trying to save me that time. And you're only trying to save me now. You're only trying to save this person now. And I couldn't even help you in return. Pew! What's that? Pew, pew! Sparkling stone, it feels warm somehow. Please forgive me. Um, I'm so grateful for you helping us out of that dangerous spot. Um, who are you? Um, I'm Lily, and I'm supposed this stone belongs to you. Okay. You obtained a sparkling stone. You put the sparkling stone in your key item's pocket. Please, don't tell anyone about seeing Nebby. It's our secret, okay? Okay. Come on, Nebby. Back in the bag. Pew! Um, I'm worried that I might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's a bit much to ask, but do you mind taking us back to town? I know you're limited to time, so why don't we do this in the next episode, say? Okay, great idea, Lily, actually. Um, yeah, this is where I'm going to stop today's episode. So, if you enjoyed today's episode where we saved Lily, we picked our starter, which is...
right here in Roderick the Litten. And we saved Lily and Nebby. And in the next episode, we will continue on our Pokemon Ultra Moon Nuzlocke. If you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're on VidMe, you can leave an upvote, you can follow the channel, and of course, you can leave a comment as well. Go and check out my uh, Sun playthrough, which will be linked in the description below, and there'll be a nice little card as well if you're on YouTube. But until next time, I'm just PH Games, and I am out. Mean de la Pokemon, get the lazar. Everybody get Pokemon. Alola.